Hey there, future gathering attendees. I am 2013 World Thumb Wrestling Champion James Tiger Monkey Isaacs, and did you know that you can give your own lightning talk at the gathering 2015? What is a lightning talk, you ask? A lightning talk is when you get up and talk about something you're passionate about. Maybe it's a project you have. Maybe it's a video you enjoy. Maybe it's a life experience you would like to share. Okay, basically it's like a TED talk, but you gotta do it really quick. You only get like five minutes. Hence the lightning. If you'd like to give your own lightning talk, sign up at thegathering.org. And just to give you an idea of what lightning talks look like, we have some videos for you to enjoy. Enjoy! I am uh, Liam, and uh, I thought I'd talk about Heartbleed for uh, Dummies, because it's been such a focus in the media nowadays. Um, so I'm going to talk about what Heartbleed is, how it works, layman's, why you should care, and if there's anything you can do. Um, Heartbleed is a security vulnerability in a software library called OpenSSL. It's used a lot in uh, websites and web servers for uh, delivering content encrypted to users so that people can't see what you're doing if they have access to the network. Um, it works by tricking the server into sending parts of its RAM to the attacker, which is a really serious vulnerability. Uh, and it's only server-side, which means that it's not your PC that's affected. It's the people who own the websites, machines. Um, so basically, how it works, um, let's say that this grid of dots is some memory. Um, in the memory, there's random stuff represented by the dots and a password for some program that the program might use in order to log into something. Uh, in this example, I just said P12. So the um, heartbeat protocol, which is a part of uh, HTTPS or TLS, works uh, by you, the user, saying, are you still here? If you are still here, respond to me with this message. And then you send how long that message is, and then the message itself. So for example, six characters, potato. And what would happen then is the server would store that in memory like this. And that's OK. And then it would reply six letters from memory, which would be potato. But if you say, respond to this message with that is 27 characters long, and then only send six characters, it's actually going to put those six characters into memory, but then read 27 characters from memory and send it back. This way, hackers can probe a server's memory for uh, passwords and stuff like that by uh, looking at what they get back and seeing if there's anything interesting. Um, <clears throat> it is not a vulnerability in your PC in most cases, except if your PC has a web server. It's not a vulnerability in every website. Some people, such as Apple, stated that their websites did not use OpenSSL and are not vulnerable. And it's not the vulnerability in TLS, which is the encryption protocol itself. It's a vulnerability in OpenSSL, which is a popular choice for implementing TLS. You should care because it affects many services that you use. Um, it puts private information about you at risk, such as passwords and bank account details and stuff like that, that you don't want bad people to have in their hands. It also puts values as risk, risk such as company secrets. For example, a source code for some closed program that the company is developing. If some hacker could get the hold of that source code, they could sell it on the black market or use it to blackmail. Um, now, what can you do? There is really not much you can do as this bug affects the web servers and not you. Uh, one thing you can do, though, is change your password. But you should take that with a pinch of pepper or a grain of salt or whatever you call it. Uh, the bug has existed for two years. And so if, you know, if something could have happened, it would have happened before. And it has already happened, probably, because there's probably people uh, watching out over the uh, source code for OpenSSL. So people would have seen this before it actually became public, probably. Uh, therefore, you know, um, also, websites got patched pretty quickly. And if I recall correctly, it took one week for a hacker to uh, complete a challenge 
done by uh, Cloudflare, where you're supposed to actually be able to get an uh, encryption key from a server that is vulnerable. So um, also, uh, don't change your password on websites that have not fixed the vulnerability yet. They will probably tell you if they have fixed it or not. So anyways, um, sources is always good. And uh, thanks for your time. If you like this talk, then remember to like and comment. The best talk of 2014 will be given the chance to give a longer talk at the gathering 2015. Help us choose which one was your favorite. Click here to view a playlist of all the talks from 2014. I will be giving a lightning talk myself this Easter, and I hope you will too. Click here to sign up.